Well, this is a tea garden piece, and I have this fascination for uh, teapots because when I would go visit my mother, she would always make me a cup of tea in the afternoon in a very special teapot that she had. And it was always a very restful time. And I also remember when I went to London that the afternoon tea was really an event and we would always stop in a little shop and have a cup of tea and uh, something sweet in the afternoon. And that was the inspiration for this piece. And it is um, showing the sunlight from the front. It's, the blocks are reflective. Uh, there's a gradation that fills the entire rainbow spectrum. So you feel like you are either in the morning or late afternoon time, which is very restful. And if you were to lay on the floor in here and look up, you'll see an entire cloud bank on the bottom of the blocks. On the right side, on this side, is a warm-toned grassy field. From the other side, you see a more purple uh, grassy field, which is a deeper evening view of what happens when you're at rest in a tea garden. This piece was, uh, I was able to do it because of the technology that I had access to. Uh, this is made with a UV cured pigment printer made by Roland. So the whole piece was in flat pieces that blocks were not assembled and I was able to image each of those uh, on the flatbed printer. And the other thing this has that people will see is that there is a gloss layer that's on it so it looks like a morning dew in the grass and on the front and that adds luminosity to the piece. So all of my work is very much uh, influenced by what technology is available to me. Uh, I also have um, a wonderful woodworker, Karsten Balsley, who does all of my manufacturing of the parts that I need to create the work. So he created all these blocks. And I might add too that this printer takes an enormous amount of time to use. And as a result of doing this piece, I was able to walk 89 miles around my studio. <laughs> I have a half a mile circle and I would set up my printer to print a set of blocks and I would go out and walk. And I clocked it and I walked 89 miles while this was being printed. I hope people enjoy this piece because I find it to be a very restful piece. It's something that is not confrontational. Uh, there is a mirror backing on each of the uh, blocks that is, has the teapot on it and it gives an illusion of casting a shadow on the top of the blocks. And I do find that people, and I unexpectedly found that a lot of people were trying to figure out how it was illuminating and making that shadow on the top when in fact it's printed. Art in Colorado is very exciting right now. There was a time uh, in the mid-90s, mid I should say, that things were a little less uh, enthusiastic for the artist in this community. But now that the uh, integration of digital and analog technology is really closely melded together, I think what's happened is the artists have really begun to explore that and it's completely integrated into what I see here at this exhibit. And I find it really exciting that it, it no longer does someone say, is there digital involved, it's just ubiquitous and part of the community. And I would hope everybody can come to the Arvada Center on January 21st and uh, see this piece installed.